Of course, it is known, David, as the season to be jolly, but of course that's not always the case. No, and relation, relationship therapist and author Tamara Mer Mer Mersica joins us now with some tips on how to avoid the Christmas feud. Good morning to you, Tamara. Uh, why mm. are these family Christmas functions, mm. they're so heated? I mean, one could say they're doomed <laughs> from the start. You could say that. Um, when we go into the family environment, what happens is that if we have any unresolved issues from the past, they tend to resurface. And um, before you know it, you're regressing to the five-year-old that you once were, because as a child, we're programmed to act and behave in a certain way. And so if, for example, your parents taught you that in order to get attention, you had to act out or misbehave, then that's how you go through life. And so, especially when you go into those Christmas situations, that's what tends to happen. And of course, part of the problem is that we're really more affected by comments from family members, aren't we? Yeah, we are. But at the end of the day, our, our family members are actually our best teachers. So if we recognise that if they say something that makes us react or, um, you know, puts us into a negative emotion, then essentially that's something that we need to resolve. And if we take the time to actually clear that out, then we're going to be much more happier in ourself. And if you are 100% solid in yourself, well, then when someone criticises you or puts you down, you're not going to be phased by that. A couple of eggnogs might help as well. Mm. Let's talk uh, holiday <laughs> etiquette, Tamara. Well, what are your tips for getting through Christmas and, and keeping all your relationships, and I'm not just talking about family members, loved ones as well, you, you, you know, other loved ones like your wife or your partner. How do you keep that in one piece? Well, I do suggest that you do take something to Christmas because it shows that you're putting in a little bit of effort. It uh, gets the day started on a positive note. Um, also avoid getting sloshed because alcohol <laughs> is a depressant. So <laughs> any, any um, you know, insecurities that you have are likely to surface um, and you are more likely to react quite ne negatively. Understand that, you know, everyone just wants to be loved. So if you uh, do get some criticism, don't enter that sparring match. Be the bigger person and understand that that's their gunk and you don't need to, you know, um, you know, you don't need to feed off that. And then if you do find that you can only do family in small doses, that's okay. <laughs> Simply set a time limit and uh, have a reason to leave. Tamara, every year, without fail, there is a fight at My Family Christmas over prawns. We're all allocated a certain number and every year someone takes more than their fair share. It's so like a prawn drought where you are as it's well, <laughs> isn't it? It's just no, we're, we're just cheap in my family. <laughs> <laughs> But obviously every family has one thing that, that brings up these emotions. For us, it's the seafood. But how can we break the behaviour pattern? I would suggest just having open conversations and if something does help, you know, make you react or what, whatever, you know, emotion that you go into, actually just say, hey, you know what, that's how I'm feeling. Is there some way that we can resolve this? Because everyone just wants to have a happy day. So don't get into that negative mind chatter that will eventually lead to the two, you know, you and your family having quite a, a, a tension filled day. Don't fight over the prawn, Sylvia. Should we also steer clear? <laughs> no. Of, yeah, Tamara. No, should we also steer clear though of breaking up at Christmas time? It's it's it puts a bit of a damper on things, doesn't it? <laughs> it certainly does. I mean, so, can you re-gift um, that I... gift that you bought? <laughs> I think that's a gift. <laughs> Um, are we talking about in the romantic sense or are we talking about breaking off our family members? Well, that's a whole, that's a bigger break Let's talk about the romantic yeah, sense. Say like, some people do it, they think they're doing someone a favour, but, but should that's you just not push necessarily through the case. To post New Year. Um, ultimately, it's never nice to be broken up with, and especially when it's a time that you're hoping to spend, uh, you know, some time with your loved ones. But at the end of the day, if that relationship isn't working out for you, you need to end it so then that you don't drag the two of you through any more pain. Obviously, do it in the most loving way that you possibly can. OK, right. so Tamara's saying to you guys out there, do it now. Before Chris. Got <laughs> like days. a band-aid, right off. 10 days. Tamara, thank you so much for your time this morning. <laughs> thank Pleasure, you, Tamara. thank you. Prawns and you.